Now it's here. It's now. It's game time. Yes! Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Chicks dig the long ball. Woo! Good morning, Drago! What's happening? Well, this fixture last season was interesting. Don't you want a balloon? <laughs> What's the matter? One balloon, not enough. <laughs> it's here, it's now, it's game day. We're away for this one, we're off to Damson Park. It's Sully Hole Moors v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. So with Storm Kira still blowing around. See what you did there. No, it didn't blow me ass, Dan, but my trampoline went on a roll. Oh my god, trampoline, trampoline, oh my god. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to football. No! So Sully Hole currently sitting ninth after 33 games. Well, they've won 13, they've drawn nine, and they've lost 11, scoring 44, conceding 34, giving them a goal of plus 10, and they're currently on 48 points. The last five games have been three draws, two losses. They've had no wins in seven. <laughs> Gary Wilde and James Quinn are interim managers since Tim Flowers has sacked. They've only taken three games. Looking by the last five, you can guess what their win percentage is like. <laughs> Number seven, Jamie Osborne, who has eight goals in 27 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 16th of the 2nd, 2019. Sully Holmore's 2, Barnet 2. Fongook and Shaq giving us a 2 0 lead for us to only throw it away in the 94th minute. Let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Sonny Omos. You thought you were big boys. You thought you could beat a league side in the FA Cup. You thought you could go 3 new up and sit back and relax against Rotherham. Only for you to bottle it and lose 4-3. Did you forget that we beat Sheffield United in the FA Cup? That's how you do it, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnett. <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnet today in the 3 5 2. Loach in goal. Your three centre halves of Elliot Johnson, Callum Reynolds, and Dan Sweeney. Shad Alexander's your right wing back. David Tonda as your left wing back. Two centre mids, Captain James Dunn and Charlie Adams. Mauro Valletti in the number 10 role. And up front, Simon Akinola and Josh Walker. And this is our Sadio Moore's lineup tonight in a 4 3 3. Just gone about 10 in here, currently 0 0. One left on target each for both sides. Mike flicks at Bourne to bliss it. Loach punches to Tonda, crosses the ball in. Josh Walker straight out of the keeper from and they're Sully Hole, they're getting a few shots off, we're not closing down quick enough. 70 minutes in, still currently nil-nil, Sully Hole just been given a penalty. Charlie Adams far too slow clearing the ball, looked like he was fouled in the play, but the referee somehow gave them a penalty. Hawkbridge converts, 1-0 Sully Hole. 26 in, Sully Hole still currently lead 1-0, they should be 2-0. Absolute shambles at the back from us from a corner. Sully Hole played a corner to the back post, Sweeney doesn't win the header. Ball's played, bounce around, we've had two cleared off the line and then one win. The shot goes wide. At 10 to the half, Sully Hole still lead, but really much has changed. Not a long ball up in the air, not winning his first balls or the second balls. We're not getting stuck in enough. A lot of long ball from Sully Hole. They're a big lumpish side, that's their game plan. 
half time here at Downton Park and it's Solihull Moors 1, it's Barnet nil. as a poor half from us, can't hide from that. Solihull up and under, hit it long, big lumps, they're going to win it in the air all day long. We're not winning the first ball or the second ball and it's always a challenge. When we come up against a big physical side, we shy away, we don't know how to break them down. Solihull have had countless attempts, they haven't really tested Loach, we're not closing them down. Dunny and Adams are far too far up the pitch, one needs to drop because every time that ball's played and won, they're in on the attack. They're up their arse, they're closing the stand, the second we get the ball, whenever Walker's got the ball, he's got two, three round in, same as Akinola. They're slowing us down, they're stopping us playing, and that's how it should be when you're trying to slow down the attack and stop them. Us on the other hand, not really creating much. We need to do something in the second half. Come on, Barnett. Three minutes in, good opportunity to get us back in the game. It's still currently Salah who lead. Elliot Johnson plays a ball down the left to Tonga, who does nice little footwork in the box, plays it to Vletti, who lays off to Sim. Sim gets a shot off to the keeper's left, keeper pushes wide, and Salah managed to clear their lines. Just gone 60 minutes. We've been better this second half. But there isn't a lot to shout about. Into the last 15, the score hasn't changed. It's just been very up and under from both sides now. Last 10 minutes, just it's like football tennis, up and down, up and down. About five minutes ago, the score hasn't changed. We get a free kick, about 25 yards out. Spark sweeps the ball in. Reynolds flicks the ball into the back post. Sweeney knocks it across. Reynolds takes another chance, hits the post, and then the referee gives a foul. Into 90th, just added on four minutes. The score hasn't changed. So the game finished, Sully Homos won, Barnet nil. What a poor game of football that was. We weren't exactly setting the world alight, but Sully Hull have no football ability at all. Just a big northern physical side who played lump it and hope. But it worked for them. How ironic is that? We was poor in the first half. Second half, we huffed and puffed and improved. But we always struggle to break down big, strong physical sides who are in your face and up your ass. Our set pieces were shit. I had no creativity. Barely won the first ball. Never winning in the second ball. Man, a sloppy passes and play we had in that game. Our second touch was a tackle. I don't like blaming the ref, but he had a shocker. It was a soft penalty for us to concede, but we should have got rid of the ball much quicker. There isn't much more I can say on the game, so we just have to put it behind us and go again this Saturday. If the weather holds off, against another northern physical side in Arrogate Town. You know what to do. Ta-da. <laughs>